Okay, really good session today. Just a couple of things to pinpoint now we discussed in the lesson, especially with the dress. We want to make sure that we're just slightly open with the feet, just pre-setting impact a little bit so your body's sort of facing a little bit left of the golf ball, just to get your hips slightly open so you're not going to get trapped. We're also going to try and focus on shortening that backswing. If you look on the left-hand side here now, as that club gets to the top of the backswing, we've gone back pretty much full swing. Now to get the golf ball to go 30, 40, 50 yards as opposed to the 60 or 70 that club wants to go, you're going to have to start decelerating and slowing down. And what you'll notice on this one as we come back to the golf ball in that attempt to do so, just past impact now, we can see that club face now closing up quite dramatically, just basically becoming a flick and a scoop to the left-hand side. You can see the club that already has overtaken the hands and arms creating that sort of scooping sensation and that's obviously going to compromise your strike if we look at the better movement on the right here now take the golf club back a much shorter position so we're setting the club now in a better position to judge for 30 40 yards now as we accelerate through we can keep the body clearing we can look at the club face now perfectly square at impact and as the club then continues on it still hasn't flicked even after the golf ball's been struck right the way through to your target so if we can keep that body in position just slightly preset at address that's going to help you now rotate through the goal a lot more effectively without adding too much power you can then judge the distance in the backswing on the way back by setting 30 or 40 yards worth of power and then accelerating through so hope that helps any questions give us a shout see you soon